All right, people, here's what we're gonna do. We are gonna make an accordion that looks like this, all right? Don't trip, it's gonna be a lot easier than you think it is. Step one, get two pieces of paper. Get your two pieces of paper, all right, dope. Uh, now you're gonna fold both the uh, pieces of paper into hamburgers, all right? Hamburgers, hold up. All right, so your two pieces of paper should be folded hamburger style like this, all right? Boom, boom. Now, what you're gonna do is you are gonna cut along the lines of your hamburgers so you get four pieces of paper. All right, you should have four pieces of paper, about equal size. Now, with each of these, you are gonna fold these hamburger style. Fold four hamburgers. I almost forgot. When you fold these hamburgers, you give yourself about half an inch at the top. All right, so leave about half an inch space. So your hamburger should look like these. All right, now you have your four hamburgers uh, and you should have a little tab right at the top. What we're gonna do is we're actually gonna fold this tab backwards. All right, now that means each of our hamburgers should look like this from the side. So if I stand it up, it's kind of like a little tent with a little flap right there, all right? Like a little tent flap right there tent flap right there flappy flap flaps oh yeah pay attention i know edgar probably already screwed up by now it's all right damien come on follow along wake up here we go okay by now i know alea's probably looks flawless rosie's and amaya's is gonna make me want to cry because of how nice they look and ty well good try um Okay, so now what we gotta do is we gotta attach our accordion together. Because remember, we gotta turn these four pieces into this thing right here. The way we're gonna do that is we're gonna take our glue stick and we're gonna glue along the inside right here. So hold up one second. All right, so I'm gonna glue right here. All right, so I got my glue on the inside flap and now I'm gonna take another flap and attach the flaps together. This is a little harder because I'm holding the phone with one hand. And I know this is probably the lowest quality tutorial video you will ever see in your life, but whatever, because you know, at least you get a tutorial video. And I'll have to explain this to a bunch of you and then get mad when you're not paying attention. Now you can just go back and rewatch the part and hopefully you don't get that big of a headache. All right, so let's just like that. And we're gonna do that now with all the rest of the pieces. So it should look like that. Okay, by now, all the pieces should be attached and this is how your accordion should look, all right? So you should have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You should have eight pieces or eight parts on each side, all right? Then we fold, 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 fold. I can only imagine how some of yours look right now. Oh boy. Now, ideally this would have been perfect, but it's okay if it's not perfect. Um, Here's what I want you to do once you get to this. Whatever is on the front, we'll just call that the front, the front flap. I don't know, whatever works, guys. Uh, what you are going to do is you are going to make a codex about the Aztecs, all right? So here's what I want you to do. I want you to write here the codex and put your last name. So it should look like this, all right? All right, so we should have the codex and then right here should be your last name. Now, here is your job. You are gonna use the 16, I'm just gonna call them panels, uh, to explain everything you've learned about the Aztecs. Now, the reason why you're doing this is because this is actually what the Aztecs left us. So they left us um, these things called codices, and you can look them up. You can look up the Codex Mendoza 
or any Aztec codex just to get ideas of what they look like. Um, but you are going to fill this up with information about the Aztecs. All right, so here's what I did. I filled mine up with information about how the Aztecs came to power. This is all stuff you already did in your comic book. All right. Now you can use drawings or you can also use sentences, bullet points, dashes. You just have to show me that you've been paying attention for the past couple of weeks. That's why this is such a big project. All right. And then for the other side, I want you to tell me the story of why the Aztecs fell. Why are they no longer here? What happened to them? Who did that to them? Why did it happen? So on and so forth. All right. Ending with the fall of the Aztecs. Dun, dun, dun. All right. Good luck.